What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm Donovan, your co-host. And uh, today we're going to be going over should the Dolphins pick up Noah Ibnagini's fifth year option. It is worth $11.5 million and I think we can all say this is a strong no. Uh, even me, who I've supported Igbo pretty much throughout his entire career, I always said, look, he's young. He's, as of right now, he's just turned 22. Uh, and so he's super, super young, and he, he's going to be cheap. However, I think the direction that we're going in with Vic Fangio being our defensive coordinator, he runs a lot of zone. Noah, it, he gets lost in zone. Um, so I honestly think that the best thing would uh, would actually be to see if we can trade him before we have to pick up his option. Now, we don't have to make a decision on his option until May 5th or May 1st. May 1st. Uh, so we we have time to try to maybe do a trade. I w wouldn't mind sending him to, like, the Vikings for, like, a 6th or 7th round pick. Now, look, I would love to keep him. I think the kid's got major potential. I just don't think that he's going to fit into Vic Fangio's scheme. Now, if Vic Fangio can man up or not man up sorry but if he can find a way to incorporate uh noah into this offense somehow get him more man-to-man -man. uh because when when he's in man-to-man -man coverage he he plays like a strong third db so he's somewhere now given it you guys don't really think about this but he's a top 70 corner right top 70 corner there's 32 teams so you go 32 times 2, 64. So 65 to higher is all third, fourth, fifth DBs. I think he's somewhere in the top half of the third. And now given he wasn't drafted to be that, he was drafted to be a top 20, you know? Um, but I think at this point, we got to stop looking at his draft position and start looking at the player. Now, the player... You're telling me you have a 22-year-old player that a corner that has improved dramatically every season dramatically I might add because he couldn't cover nothing his first year his second year he had good coverage but didn't get his head around he finally got a, his head around this year and uh, in his limited playing time had a, a, a lot of you know a lot of the balls thrown his way I think he had 15 passes thrown his way uh, and he had five uh, pass breakups and an interception. So, you know, and he had a couple good reps against Stefan Diggs, one of the best route runners in the league. And that's not saying that he's going to be an all pro. That's saying he's showing good tape. He's showing that he's a lot better than he was last year. That's showing he's a lot better than where he was two years ago. He's young. He's teachable. And I like that he has a good head on his shoulders and uh, you know that he's improving dramatically however he's been his main focus has been man to man and he's been working on that and that's I think is part of the reason that he hasn't been a active over Keon Cross and not giving Keon Cross and also does special teams better um, but in man to man coverage which we ran 90% of the time you know he's he's so much better than Keon Cross and he's like I said, a strong third DB. I don't think that he will do well in this system with Vic Fangio. I like the kid. I hope he does well. I hope I'm wrong. I just don't see it. Um, and I think we need to open the door to more corners that maybe uh, have experience in zone coverages and can play zone coverage off rip rather than trying to learn a whole new scheme that you just spent three years trying to learn the previous one. So now I think a team like the Vikings who just hired Brian Flores as their defensive coordinator are extremely thin at DB. I think, you know, taking a six or trading him for a six rounder. I mean, look, we, ha we haven't missed on really our, our fifth, sixth, seventh rounders. They've all been uh, probably some of the best fifth, sixth rounders in the league. Uh, you know, I like our scouting department when it goes to that. Now, round one, it's kind of like iffy, you know. And, and I'll give him Chris Greer um, made up for 
the 2020 draft by his 2021 draft. Uh, but, it, I mean, no one can really ignore the 2020 draft. You, you whiffed on at least two two of the picks. Uh, but, yeah. So... I think that's I think that's my that's my personal opinion on what the Dolphins should do with Igbo. Don't pick up his option, or try to trade him before his option comes around. Um, I I think they they can get a pick out of it. I don't think that he gets cut. Once again, he's way too cheap this year to be cut. But going into next year, he's not worth eleven and a half million. I mean, he that would be two million less than Byron Jones, who's probably going to get released. Uh, by the June 1st cut for him. So yeah. Um let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget, like, subscribe, ring the bell so you can get the notifications for when we drop the videos. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Be safe out there. And don't forget, tell somebody love them. Peace.